Hello and welcome to this episode of Luminar News. My name is Jacob Bors and I'm here to bring you up to speed with the latest Luminar updates. Just before we're going to start, I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel to make sure that you don't miss one of our future episodes or updates. Skylum is back with another update for Luminar Neo. This time marked with the number 1.9.0. We will start this video by looking at the list of all the updates before we move into the application to make sure you are running the latest version of the software. In the end, we will cover all the updates and news in the application so you can see how it works. The 1.9.0 update is heavily focused on delivering the highly anticipated undo redo function across the application. Once you update your software, you can back out of an edit or repeat it easily while experimenting with different editing tools. You will also see performance improvements with the raw develop and masking tools. All of this will make your photo editing experience even more efficient. Finally, you can easily synchronize your digital assets from Luminar's marketplace and the X membership directly from the application. To top it off, Skylum fixed many bugs for both Windows and Mac machine. If you want to see the full list of the updates, you can check it on the Skylum website at skylum.com slash what's new slash Luminar Neo. Just before we're going to continue, I want to quickly mention that this update video is powered by our Luminar Neo Spring Bundle. With this bundle, you will get over 910 new Spring elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. You will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs and presets. All of this to transform your images with just a few clicks. To get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, visit our website cleverphotographer.com. And now it's time to make sure that you're running the latest version of Luminar Neo. To find out what version you have, first of all, we need to navigate to the top left corner of your screen and click on the Luminar Neo logo. Here look for the About Luminar Neo and click on it. Once you do that, it will open a new window where you can see the logo, the text and then also the version of Luminar Neo you have. In my case, as you can see, I have the version 1.8.0, so it means that we need to update it. Let's close this window and then once again navigate to the top left corner click on the Luminar Neo logo and look for the check for update. Once you click on that, it will open another window where you can see that the new version of Luminar Neo is available. We have the 1.8.0 and since the 1.9.0 is ready, we can now install it. All you need to do is to click on install update and go through the process until you return to the application. When you return, into the application and before you use it, you want to double check that you're running the latest version. You already know how to do that. One more time, Luminar Neo logo, then about Luminar Neo and now looking at the new window, you can see that we are now running the version 1.9.0. So we can close this and now it's finally time to look at the new features and updates. The first thing we're going to look at is the highly anticipated undo redo function which is now available across the application. So let's start with a basic example. We are in the edit module, we have the sample file and now we can go into our main toolbar and for this example we're going to use the enhance AI. Click on it to open it and let's just use the accent AI slider. Increase it to 50%. And now to undo this, we can use the command or control Z on our keyboard. Once we hit it, it will undo this step. If we want to redo this step, if we want to redo it, we would have to use command or control plus shift plus Z again. 
So this is the basic example. The shortcut for the undo redo is command or control Z or command shift plus Z or control shift plus Z. So now we can close the enhance AI and we're gonna continue with more advanced example. For this next example, we're gonna try to use multiple tools and multiple sliders. Let's open the enhance AI and increase the accent AI slider. While we're here, let's also add a little bit of sky enhancer. First come first, we have used two sliders. So let's have a look at the command or control Z again, undo these steps. So one hit and one more. So that works really well. So let's use again, command or control shift Z to break the steps back. And now we can close this tool and continue to, for example, structure AI. Here, increase the amount and again, close it. To finish it off, let's go into the landscape tool and add a little bit of the golden hour effect. Once we're happy, we can close this. Let's have a look at the before and after. And really, I'm not 100% sure about the edit, so I would like to undo some steps. First of all, let's go into our edit tab and see here we have used the landscape tool, the structure tool and the enhance AI tool. When we go back into the landscape tool and now use the command Z, it doesn't only remove the step, but it also removes the tool from the edits tab. If we wanna bring it back, we use again command or control shift Z and it brings the tool back into our list of edits together with the value on it. So one more time, let's use the command or control Z once and again twice and it removes both of the previous steps and in our case, both of the tools. Now in this tool, we have used two sliders. So again, let's use command or control Z. So it removes the first slider and then again, command or control Z and it does remove the second slider and also the entire tool from the edits tab. If we want to bring all of that back, just one more time, command or control shift Z once, twice, three times, four times, and we have the full edit back. And now it's time to look at the second new feature, which allows you to synchronize your assets from Skyland Marketplace and the X membership directly from the Luminar Neo software. Now we have a full video tutorial on how to do this. So let me just quickly show you how it works. We are here in the catalog module and we need to navigate into the extras button in the top right corner of the screen. Click on it to open it and that will bring a new window. Traditionally, this was introduced for the installation of the extension. Now we have two more options here, one of them being the marketplace and another one is the X membership. Both of these new tabs will allow you to install your assets that you purchase or gain through your membership directly through the application. So by using these tabs, you no longer need to download the assets, unzip them and import them into the application. What do you need for this to work? Number one, you need internet connection. And number two, you need to make sure that you're using the same account in the application and then on the Skylum website. How does it work? You purchase your presets, skies, LUTs, overlays on the website. Then you come into the application and then here you just hover over the assets and then click on install. Once you install them, you will be prompt with the installed message and they will be directly added into the application. Similarly, for the X membership, every month you get a new set of tools for example, for the April, you have the soft beige by us, the clever photographer, or the dramatic sunset skies by me, Jacob Bors. Once you have them here, all you need to do is to click on install. They will be installed, and then you will just see this install button, and you can start to use them in the application itself. This new feature will make your life much easier, making adding a new assets into your application question of one click. Before we going to finish, don't forget that there are some improvements for the Develop Raw tool and also the masking tool. On the top of it, Skylum has fixed list of bugs. And if you want to see this list, don't forget to visit the website at skylum.com. 
And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.